Hey, what's going on guys? It's XI Forsaken here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on how to get the Syncadia Blade in Elden Ring. For this, you're going to want to start up at the Beast Sanctum, and work your way to the edge of the cliff over here. And once you get over to the edge of the cliff, it's just kind of being careful with your footing and making sure to have a safe jump spot and just taking your time. But while you're scaling down these roots, you can just kind of aim it out. It's better to be safe than sorry. So I just kind of work my way down to even the smallest ledge I can. And once you get down here, it's just scaling down even further. It's pretty easy. You can scale down on each one of these pillars that go down. There are quite a few enemies in the area. They're not very tough, but they can be annoying if you're trying to land these spots and not get killed by them or disrupted by just getting knocked down off the ledge. For doing these jumps, you probably don't even need to use the horse to get down, but it's just better when you have the double jump to correct yourself and hopefully land on a ledge just to make sure you don't die because it's kind of annoying have to run all the way back here. And there's quite a bit of uh, rune fragments and other items in the area, so just keep an eye out. It's good to explore all over when you're going through areas like this, but they're not too high value of items. The ones that are actually high value, I have both of them in the video. But I missed this jump right here, but you can survive the fall depending on what level you are and how much health you've got. And while you're following along, around down here on your last level, you can find this talisman over here. And right here is the Dragon Rest Shield Talisman. And then right over here on this platform is going to be the Syncadia Dagger. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to drop a subscription, a thumbs up, and a comment down below. Thanks for watching.